Hey guys, Mike Shaman here. I'm just going to do a Gravity Forms tutorial on conditional logic. So what is conditional logic? So let's say you fill out a form and it says you have option A, B, or C. You choose option A, and then after you choose option A, choose option A another box pops up that says, please explain option A. Some to that extent. So we're just going to break it down onto how to use it with Gravity Forms. So basically, you can select anything that you that any field that you want to be a uh, conditional logic. So, you know, if, if they have a, let's go with radio buttons, okay? Remember the difference between the radio buttons? The radio buttons have one choice. You make one choice, okay? The check boxes, you can select multiple items. So if somebody chooses A, B, and C, you can make that a conditional logic. Or if somebody chooses yes or no, okay? So let's just go yes, no, let's just do Q1, okay, let's go Q2, and then just go first, second, third. And then this is be question two. All right, and maybe they select one of these and they choose a drop down. So let's go to question two. So let's say they choose no on question one. So I just go to question two, I go to appearance, advance, enable conditional logic. So it's only going to show this field if all of these requirements are met. So question one is no. Okay. So if question one is no, it's going to show this field. Okay. All right. So let's just update the form. We can go to preview. So if it's no, question two appears. Okay, it's yes, it doesn't, no. All right, now let's make this one appear if all these options are chosen. Okay, so what we would do here, hit the drop down, go to advance, enable conditional logic. If it answer, show this field if all the following match. Question Q2 is first. Second, oh, oops. So all the following must match in order to get this box, okay? So we update the form, go to form preview, refresh, okay? So question one still works there. Question two. Okay, now when I check this third box, the drop down should appear. And there it goes. Okay. So, that's how you do the conditional logic. You can also do that with uh, pricing fields. So, if you have products and you want to offer a service, so let's just say this one's $10. Actually, we want to choose this as a drop down. So let's refresh the page to start over right here. So, all right, you can choose one of those products. And then let's choose another product. So say this is like a insurance or this is like an add-on. Um, all right, and then the add-on is 10, 20, 30. And then this only appears if the answer to a product name is the third choice. OK. 
Okay, and you can see the price change right here. I'm just gonna put total in here. Okay, now let's go to the form, refresh. Okay, so the third choice, and then the second choice. So there's the total right there, submit. That's the conditional logic. Now you can also do this with sections, okay? So let's say they get to this one, and we want to do conditional logic on this section. So say the first, <clears throat> say untitled is first choice. Let's go to second choice. Okay. Okay, so now I choose no on that one. Remember this one, you have to choose all of them. And then now if I choose this one to be second choice, then I can choose the product I want. Okay. And that would be it. And now just to end that, you said another section break down there. And then this section break would, um, this would show because it's not in this section. You see? But if I do this, this other section will show. Okay. So that's how you break up the section. So maybe maybe you're offering vacations or something. And this would be like Bahamas vacation section. And then this one would be like uh, Mexico vacation. And the other one would be uh, Europe vacation. But if they, depending on what, what, which one they chose, then they would see that section. <clears throat> So that's basically how the conditional logic works for gravity forms. And um, check out the links below in the description to learn more about gravity forms.